Welcome to Atari Series 7. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone playset. It's a really cool, really blast to pick this up. This is by Jack Specific. It's made similar to the Super Mario playsets I've reviewed, and um, yeah, it's pretty neat. Up here we have the 60th anniversary of Sega logo. We got Sonic running to the side. We have how this set works, uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog name. And uh, boy, am I glad to see this set. I work in retail at Walmart, and man, oh man, all year parents have been asking me, where are the Sonic toys? And we haven't had any. Um, you know, the, the movie coming out was really popular, so I'm really glad there's some Sonic toys coming out, because everybody's been asking us for them. Everybody's wanting them. I've been wanting them myself. So I'm really glad Jack Specific has decided to make some play sets, even though they're not necessarily from the movie. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be happy with these. Sonic the Hedgehog here, Sonic the Hedgehog here. We have the action features on on the side of the packaging, we got this picture of Sonic here looking pretty cool. On the back, we have the other characters in this wave all pictured up. This is 2.5 inch scale too, it's just like the Mario play sets, uh, which is probably my main reason for picking this up. And yeah, down here we have the other characters in the wave like I mentioned, and then this is the 4 inch wave. Um, the Sonic included in the set is the same one that comes in this wave, so it's kind of like Mario where they keep, no offense, uh, but keep releasing. So if you don't, uh, if you want to have every Sonic, you can pick them both up, but if you don't pick up the Sonic that's going to come out in this wave, you're still going to get them in this playset if you decide to get it. So that's pretty cool, and yeah, let's open this up. Ignore my sparkly uh, Christmas wrapping paper background here for a second. And here we have Green Hill Zone out of packaging. And let me push it back a little bit just so everything's in frame. Um, over here you have the bumper, then you have the little green hills, and you got the little rings up there, and then the overall little turnaround round spinny cycle of fun thing. That's not the actual name, but it's uh, what I've decided to name it. So really quickly, let's take a look at the Sonic figure included in this set. Now this is the 2.5 inch Sonic, and I gotta say, Jack Specific nailed it with this guy. The face is really good, he's got those green eyes there with the really big uh, white kind of like, um, I don't know what they're really called, but I guess eyelids, maybe, maybe they're eyelids, I don't think they're eyelids. But he's got his little nose, he has a little bit of a smile you can see there, and uh, he's got his little ears, and then he's got his kind of like traditional hedgehog type hair, and it looks awesome, it's a little nice, so he's got the back and the little tail there, then he's got his uh, one gloved hand ready to fight, then he's got kind of like a cool, kind of like a gun, well not like a gun, but you know, kind of like just a pointy, kind of like gun, almost pointy finger, I don't know, it looks pretty cool, he's got some blue paint moving down, and then he's got these awesome detailings on his shoes which look pretty good. They've got the white socks and the red with the gold buckles. So looking pretty nice there, pretty cool. And yeah, and one thing that's kind of interesting is with this 2.5 inch Sonic line, they're actually making these articulate. Now the Mario figures that they make and the other world and Nintendo figures that they make, even though Sonic is not a Nintendo character per se, he does, you know, he is a video game character, but usually their other video game characters in this scale are just kind of like static. They have moving arms and moving heads, but that's about it. But Sonic actually has a pretty good range of motion. He's got a 360 of the head, 360 of the arms, swings out the shoulders, the legs kick forwards, backwards, and you can rotate them 360, so you can kind of bring the legs out sideways as well. So, you know, there's a lot of good movement there, and uh, that's something that, you know, you really want for a Sonic figure because he's always running around and everything. And let's take a closer look at the playset. So, here we have the Green Hill Zone, and it's very much assembled like a standard Mario set where you have the base plates and you click them together and you have things that click into the base plates. Um, so, you know, it's very similar to the World of Nintendo stuff that we've seen from Jack Specific, but there is actually some big uh, differences. For starters, if you look at the ground base here, you'll notice uh, it actually has a texture to it. And it actually has these kind of like leafy texture all around the playset, and I really like this. On the Mario type playsets we've seen, these don't really have a texture. They're more of just like flat for green or water. Pretty much all of the bases are flat, but this actually has a texture. I have a feeling that's, you know, just due to the difference in game. Sonic's has a little bit more detailing like that, more realistic as opposed to Mario. So, you know, maybe that's why. Maybe that isn't. Regardless, it's a lot nicer and I really like it. You'll also notice these little peg holes going around the playset. These are to stand um, your other Sonic figures up or they're for these little rings. You can put the rings anywhere that has a hole. So you can put them here, you can put them there, you can put them over here, you can put them up here, and it's just really cool how you can do that because, you know, they're, the rings are like coins that kind of appear in the game, and I'm not gonna lie, this is something I would like to see them do with the Mario sets. I'd like to see them put the coins, 
like have them put for the playset. Kind of like how this is. I would like to see that. Over here you have the bumper, which is pretty cool. It actually moves up and down when you press on it. I really like this. I mean, this is kind of fun. It's just like a really simple thing, but I really like doing it. It's yellow and silver. And then the rest of this is sticker detailing. I'll admit, I wish this was actually molded, but I don't care that it's not molded because it still looks really cool. And again, I really like this detailing. I'm going back to that again. Um, and I think something cool is too, you know, there's a lot of wide spaces. Like, you know, there's a Metal Sonic, um, there's a Tells and Knuckles coming out, and I think there's a Chow, is it? I don't know. Um, you know, there's a lot of places that you can put these characters. Um, with me, when I get these Nintendo sets, I always put my little characters with them, and I feel like that you could do that with a Sonic set, and I don't feel like you'd run out of a lot of room. And now to go on to the main play feature of this set. So basically, you just take your little Sonic, or, you know, whichever character you want, and you kind of put them over here. You little, you peg them in a little bit, and it should just, should just peg in. I don't know if it's pegging in. It's kind of pegging in. This uh, peg doesn't work as well as the other, and you can kind of move his little arms and legs and stuff. So, you know, you gotta make him look like he's running there. He's Sonic the Hedgehog, not Sonic the Slow Hog. Uh, so yeah, you've got him in kind of a running pose. And now what you do here, and this is probably my favorite thing about this playset. It's so cool. You can actually, ah, he fell. Okay, he falls a lot, I'll be honest. He does not stay that well pegged in here. Let's see if we can get him on there just a little bit better. Come on, Sonic. All right, and then, boom. You can actually run Sonic around little loop-de-loops just like in the video game, and I love this. I mean, obviously, you know, it's not as slow as in the video game. I'm trying to slow it down so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, but you can just run Sonic around just like the game, little hamster wheel. If you do it too fast, he's gonna fall off. But I really love that feature. And you know, that's something I've mentioned in my Mario videos, how I like how Jack Specific tries to take those features from the video games and actually implement them in the toy sets instead of trying to make the toy sets implement, you know, like their own thing. And I think that's really cool. Another really fun thing that you can kind of do here is you can take the rings and you can actually put them inside of here. There's these little pegs and you just kind of peg them in. If you can peg them in, it's a little hard to see some of the pegs here. Um, and you can just kind of like peg them in up here and then you bring Sonic back on this thingy. You can actually have Sonic run around the little loop-de-loop -loop and collect rings as he's running. Again, just like the game. I love this little feature. I love that they decided to put the rings up there. And I'm gonna be honest, I love this playset in general. And why do I love it? Because it's simplistic. It's what Sonic is. It's what you expect it from Sonic. It's a little playset of Green Hill Zone. It looks like it from the game. You get to run him up the loopy loops, just kind of like in the game. And you know, it's not 100% perfect, but I like it. For what it is, it's really nicely done. And I think fans of Sonic are gonna like this. I think kids are gonna like this. I think adults are gonna like this. I think it's just, you know, one of those really fun playsets that is also a collectible, but it can also be a playset. You know, I think they've done a really good job with this. Um, they didn't cheap out on Sonic. I like that he's articulate. And yeah, I really, I just really have good things to say about this playset. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not very negative in my reviews. I'm I'm always pretty positive. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty positive on this one. A little bit more positive than I usually am. And I'm not gonna lie, I really became more of a Jack Pacific fan this year, just seeing how much detail they put in everything. And uh, really quickly, let's see. Here is a size comparison with a 2.5 inch Nintendo Mario, also made by Jack Specific. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I think this is a pretty good height range. You know, I think um, we haven't really seen Mario and Sonic in a lot of games. They have had some crossover games in the past, but I think these guys have a really good range here. And then here's a comparison with Yoshi. So, you know, if you wanna cross Sonic over into your Mario playsets or have Mario and friends show up in your Sonic playsets, I feel like you can do that. And I feel like that's kind of Jack's specific kind of idea here you know I don't think that's their main intention but I think you could put both of these on your shelf or you know maybe different shelves on one shelf so like maybe different layers of your shelf and I feel like they would not look too out of place from each other uh, but regardless I think this is really cool and thank you for watching please rate like and subscribe